A callback is a function that's passed as an argument to another function. This allows functions to be more flexible, almost like extending a function. I'm going to create a function down here called use callback. And like seen in a previous video, I'm going to invoke this function before the function is declared. Right up here, I'm just going to say use callback. So inside the function, I'm just going to put a document that right. Hello. And that should show me here in the window a hello. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of parameters to the function. So x. And then here, I'm going to, the second parameter is going to be a callback. And so I'll put here for now call back then down here I'll invoke it within the function so call back what are we calling back so function will be expected in here so here in the function call I'll just give a value for the first one and then I'm going to create a function down here, so another function, and I'll just say callback x. And all that function is going to do is just write out this is the callback x function. All right, and then up here. I'll provide the name of the function. So call back x. Now when I run this, I'll get hello, which is this here. I'll go ahead and add a break to that to make it more legible. There we go. So it returns what I have inside of the function, the document right here, hello. And then when we call the callback function down here within the function, it's going to return what's inside of that function. And that's what we see right here. This is the callback x function. I can also make y This is the callback y function. And then up here, I'll just provide y. And I'm going to run that. And it changes up here to y. This is the callback y function. I can also provide an anonymous function as a callback. So I'm going to get rid of this here. And I'm going to create a function, callback function, give it a couple of parameters. Now this time I'm going to shorten the callback that would be here to just C. And I'll say document.write x and then invoke my callback function down here inside of the function. So now I'll go ahead and invoke this function. I'll say callback function and five. Now here I'm going to provide an anonymous function. There we go. And down here, go ahead and finish that out. So that now when I run this, I'll have five, which is this one here. So it runs what's inside the function. 
I'm gonna go ahead and break that up so it's a bit clearer. Okay, run it again. Okay, so it runs this bit of code inside the function, and then it calls the callback function here, which turns out to be an anonymous function, and inside of that anonymous function, it runs that code, and it says I'm from the anonymous function.